Watching some videos online the other day, people messing around with thermite, and it's the same old story. Get your pot of thermite, put it on top of something you want to melt, light it, and leg it. No, 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 no. So I said, Colin, you need to make a thermite launcher, and if I'm going to do this, I'm going to need to make some thermite and some thermite shells. <laughs> Now then, making the thermite really easy. Iron oxide, aluminium powder. You mix it by weight, so you want eight of these to three of these. And it's at this point I should probably point out that although making thermite in limited quantities is not illegal, making something which fires loads of it is. So this whole thing's been done under the watchful eye of people with loads of letters after their names and bits of paper which I don't have and probably will never get given. Right, let's start by measuring out a bit of a bit of iron. Nice little red powder, look. Stick it in there. It'll kind of look like a 50-50 mix because the iron is a lot heavier than the aluminium, as you would expect. There we go. Right, now let's put a bit of aluminium in here. Right, so we've got the uh, iron and the aluminium measured out. Just mix them together. So it's all mixed up. So I'm just going to fill this uh, metal pipe full of it. And then to start it, you can't just light it with a match, that won't start it, the match isn't hot enough. So use a bit of magnesium strip, just pop that down the end, light up a blow lamp. Bah! That was wonderful and pretty, wasn't it? But firing something that big is not going to cause a lot of carnage. Now we can't fire a bucket of the stuff because that's just a bit stupid too. So we need to kind of find a bit of middle ground. So I suggest something about that sort of size. And then I'm going to make a press to pack it in as tightly as possible. So that is a rocking solid lump of thermite. <laughs> Try and light it with a spark of this time. Well, that was better. Okay, so we've got the shells. Now we're just going to make some into fire. <laughs> 